if you're new here, hello, my name is Becca. I'm a writer currently working on my debut novel. Um, I love horror, thriller, all things of that nature. But um, today we're doing a little day in my life. So I know I've been doing a lot of writing content lately, especially because of NaNoWriMo. Um, but I don't want you guys to forget that there's also lifestyle content on my channel as well, which means I usually like to show you guys like my makeup routines and like outfits and things like that because I am a simple girl and I'm just like every other girl <laughs> and I love to talk about girly things. I had a really nice morning. I am trying to develop a little bit more of like a morning routine when it comes to, or not a morning routine. I'm trying to develop a little bit of a writing routine. One thing that Nano has taught me is that I'm actually way more productive in the morning when it comes to anything related to writing or crafting or storytelling. It's just a lot easier for me to like sit down with my thoughts early on in the morning. So I did that this morning. I didn't write. I actually have a live stream that I'm going to be streaming tonight. And what I instead decided to do was fill out my Save the Cat beat sheet and really get myself solidified for the rest of this novel because I thought I was going to have to make a major change to the story. I thought I was actually going to have to end up removing the murder mystery aspect of it, but I decided against it because I think it adds a layer of urgency that the story is missing otherwise. I spent the morning getting myself organized with all of that so that I can write this afternoon. And then I went to the pool with my friend Giselle because I hadn't seen her in a while. And then we are going to go book shopping because I don't really have like a book club. Um, it's really just me and like my two best friends <laughs> coming together and like deciding, hey, should we read this book? And the last book that we read for our book club was um, Grady Hendrix's The Southern Book Club's Guide to Kill a Vampire or something to that effect. And we're actually having like a little bit of like a book discussion tonight. This looks insane. It will blend. Do not worry. So we're going to do that. And then I didn't realize I'd like double booked myself. And immediately afterwards, um, I have the stream. I think I literally have like a 15 minute break in between our Zoom session and my stream session. And that's okay. We will make it work. Oh my God, this side is so muddy. So in the spirit of a day in my life, I thought I would just kind of get ready with you guys and show you my everyday makeup routine. Um, I've since gone through my makeup and tossed out all of the expired <laughs> items. I used to be someone that hoarded so much makeup and for why. I've really worked as I've gotten older to kind of minimize my collection and just use the things that work for me. I also really like using cream products. I find that when I was younger, my skin was really oily and the older I get, the drier my skin is getting. So I did my skincare and I wanna show you guys what I'm using. So I love the Say Slip Tint. I know this is kind of like hit or miss for a lot of people because for some people it turns them into a greasy mess. But if you're like me and you have combination or dry skin, I really, really like this stuff like a lot. It's very natural. It's very comfortable to wear. And then for cream bronzer, I think I got this off Amazon. It's the Kida Kida Beauty. It's like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. So I really like using this. Sometimes it can be a little strong and I have to go in and diffuse it, but for the most part, I actually really like how it looks. For blush, I have the e.l.f. blush in Very Well. This is another one that's like really pigmented. People always say that the Rare Beauty blushes are pigmented. I have no problem with those at all. Um, these these are pigmented so i'm just gonna like work it into my brush it's a very pretty color and dab it on i find that getting ready even if it's just like a little bit of makeup helps me feel so much more put together 
Um, this is the Merit Highlighter Stick in the shade Kava. I literally just take my finger and apparently the back of my nail. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh, that's so pretty. I feel like a lot of people do their eyeshadow first. I do not. I think it's because I always had skin issues growing up. My skin has since improved, I like to think, but I just always got used to doing my base makeup first because I always wanted to cover up my acne first. But I like looking very glowy, very dewy. After a day at the pool, I just think this looks very nice and fresh. For my eyebrows, I take any eyebrow pencil. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and I just comb through. So yeah, the plan for the rest of the day is, oh, I didn't, I don't think I finished telling you guys. So me and my friends have a book club. I have been reading nothing but like scary stories for the past year. I'm talking ghost, slashers, thrillers, paranormal, you name it, I probably read it. Hot take, I think it was actually affecting my mood. <laughs> and like, I went into a really big depression and when we were discussing what to read for like our next book i i recommended the last book we just read but i told them that i was like i think i need to read something like light and fluffy i think i need something feel good and i recommended a rom-com i recommended just for the summer by abby jimenez which i have been seeing so many people rave about it and I am not really a rom-com or romance reader. I don't know why. It's not something I naturally gravita gravitate towards, which is so funny because the whole reason I started reading again was because two years ago, I picked up The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood and I had such a fun time reading it. I read that book in two days and I was like, I want more. <laughs> and then it, I spiraled into a fantasy kick and then I, diverted into like horror and stuff like that so anyway also recently discovered that there's like a used bookstore near me so I wanted to go check it out to see if I could get it secondhand before I go to Target and pay full price because while I could get it on my Kindle number one on Libby it's like a 20 week wait and I don't want to wait that long but I'm also just spending a lot of time in front of screens lately so like I'm in front of my computer for school for job hunting for YouTube stuff and I've just gone back to reading physical books because I feel like my eyes just need a break from screens and even though the Kindle screen is not very strenuous on my eyes just the act of being in front of another screen is really frustrating for me so I've gone back to reading physical books I'm actually in the middle of reading um, Twilight and I told myself I was gonna read it over like the fall like in October or something like that um but I have been in such a bad reading slump that I was like let me just let me just start this now to see if it can break me out of my slump because I was reading Midnight Sun and I was like I can't do this right now like I don't want to read Edward was so whiny that I was like I can't do this right now and now I'm reading Twilight and now I'm like, you know, I think I would actually pick up Midnight Sun immediately after reading the first Twilight book. And I think that's what I might try because now I'm like, oh, okay, now I want to see what Edward was doing on his side of things. So anyway, all of that to say, <laughs> I'm slowly working my way out of my reading slump and we're going to go pick up the new Abby Jimenez book, hopefully. Also, I am using... This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. To be completely honest, this is probably expired. Most definitely expired, but I'm almost done with it. And this is the travel version. I cannot imagine people that go through like the full size one, um, cause I just, I can't do it, but. And then for eyeshadow, this is the Morphe Ready in Five Eyeshadow Palette from Hawaii with Love. I like using pinks because they make my eyes pop. So I just put a little bit on the edges. I feel bald without eyeshadow, even if it's just like bronzer in the crease. I have to have something there because if I don't, I just feel like, I just feel like it looks weird. Also, side note, 
I know clean makeup is like all the rage, but I just have such a special place in my heart. I said it in my last video for like heavy makeup, you know, like that 2016 heavy wing, heavy eyeshadow, heavy lash makeup. I just think like the girlies looked so good and I, I, I respect the clean makeup. I like to think that I have like a mix of it, but man, you know, sometimes I'm like, you know, put some more on, put, put some more on. For mascara, I use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. I usually switch between this and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Those are the two mascaras I have been using since like high school and they have never led me astray. And this one is really good, especially like once it's like almost out, that's like when it hits its sweet spot. But I have never really liked high-end mascaras. I feel very passionately that drugstore mascaras are actually way better. And that is the makeup. So my timer is telling me it took me, it's like 15 minutes. It probably is honestly less. Um, it's more because I was like yapping while I was doing my makeup, but I can do this look in like 10 minutes. And I just feel so much more put together. As I mentioned in my last video, whenever I'm feeling really down about myself, I can always count on a fresh face of makeup and a little bit of jewelry to go a long way in helping me feel much better about myself. Which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Ana Luisa. Boasting unmatched quality, Ana Luisa strength and humidity tests every single one of its pieces to ensure long tarnish free wear. And with most of their pieces starting at just $39, you can feel really good about the pieces that you're investing in to elevate your everyday style. They also offer free fast shipping within the United States and really affordable shipping anywhere outside of the United States. They make exchanges and returns incredibly simple and all of their pieces come with a two year warranty. If you're interested in exploring any of the pieces from Ana Luisa, you can use the code in my description box to get 30% off your order. Thank you again so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this part of the video. I'm officially back from my excursion and um, before I hop on my zoom call with my friends I wanted to give you guys an update on the books that I have so um, in my I don't think I mentioned I don't think I mentioned it in a video I think I mentioned it in my live stream with Cody that I have been in like the fattest reading slump of my life. This kind of broke me out of my reading slump, so very happy about this. And then I was a little bummed. They did not have just for the summer at my Target, and I didn't want to drive all the way out to my Barnes & Noble, so instead I ended up getting Beach Read by Emily Henry. Now that I've made the switch in my mind to like open myself up to like romance and books like outside of my comfort zone, I was sitting in front of the romance and contemporary fiction like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> so out of all of the Emily Henry books that I read, this prompt um, and like this synopsis caught my attention the most. I'm going to see if my friends still want to read Just for the Summer or if they'd be willing to read this one. Either way, I'm happy to read both, but I picked this one up. And then at the used bookstore, I... As you guys may have seen in one of my other videos, I love watching Carla Espinosa's vlogs and she's very much like a romance girly and she, in one of the vlogs I was watching, she w read 28 Summers by Ellen Hildebrand. I've never read anything by Eldon, Ellen Hildebrand and she's kind of dubbed as like the queen of the 
like the summer read so I was in there and there was a girl with an Ellen book in her arm and I was like oh where did you get that and she pointed it to me and so she recommended this one which is the summer of 69 and I'm excited I also really like the synopsis for this one and I was able to buy this one used I also while I was in that bookstore there was this gentleman that came in speaking Spanish and no one there that was working knew how to speak Spanish so I like volunteered and I was helping them and the store didn't have the book that they wanted but the cashier that I was translating for was like oh try the library and tell me why I couldn't remember the word biblioteca I was like oh la libreria huh revoke someone take my my spanish card away my puerto ricanness away i could i could not believe i forgot the word for biblioteca it's like a joke that's like the one word that and baño are like the two words that everybody remembers from spanish class so right now i'm going to try and decompress for 30 minutes because i have kind of a long evening ahead of me. I need to prepare for the stream tonight and I need to get ready for my call with my friends. Semi-successful outing, got two books, just not the one that I needed. I feel like I don't like ask enough of my audience, so I'm gonna ask something of you now. If you guys could drop in the comment section what you're reading and if you recommend it or if there's a book that you've read, any genre, and you want me to read it, put it in the comment section down below. I have yet to do a reading vlog, but I think they're so fun and I kind of want to start doing them. It's just that sometimes I struggle with like setting aside the time to read and I feel like maybe forcing myself to film a reading vlog might be good for that. So put in the comment section down below what you're currently reading. up my live stream with Cody. Um, we had so much fun. I always have a good time when I'm hosting with Cody and it's always really nice when the people on the live ask really good questions and they're like super engaged with us. That always makes it like worth it in my opinion. Like it's fun to write but it's also fun to like feel like I'm in a group of friends that are writing together. So we had a good time. I hopped off of a call with my friends. We were doing kind of like a little book club and I didn't realize I had double booked myself. So I had to get off of that vlog, or off of that Zoom and hop immediately into the live stream and I just felt a bit frazzled, but I am starving. It is like 8.30, so I'm gonna make myself some dinner, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if there's anything you guys wanna see from me, please make sure to leave it in the comments down below. I love when you guys comment. It truly makes my day. Also, make sure to check out the link in my description to check out some pieces from Ana Luisa. Again, you can get 30% off your order if you order through the link in my description. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm wishing you all the best of luck on your projects or whatever creative endeavors you are currently working on, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!